Well, if it wasn't so important, this is where, you know, thank God the American people have choices. I, and that we're a part of it is an honor, and I feel blessed to be able to do this, as I know you do. Let me ask you this and let you put on your attorney's hat for a minute. For those that don't know, you were the chief of staff, or I think one of the greatest attorney generals ever, and that was Ed Meese. Um, why would they ever allow an illegitimate investigation run by Mueller and his merry band of Democratic donors to interview President Trump when there's no evidence, collusion's not a crime, no evidence whatsoever. It's been a witch hunt from day one. Look at what they're doing with Manafort. I think Attorney General Meese at this point would have stepped in. I honestly do. And uh, Newt Gingrich was on to something there. Much of the power being exercised by the Deputy Attorney General in lieu of the Attorney General has nothing to do with, uh, with Jeff Sessions' recusal. Jeff Sessions will not be attacked by the media as long as he's quiet. Quiet. The minute he speaks up or does something, he will be attacked. Look, the matter for trial, here's what I don't get. Most of the issues they're raising, if he did all these things, bank fraud, embezzlement, uh, tax fraud, and all the rest, and he did it during the Obama administration, who was the FBI director? Mueller. Mueller was the FBI director. He did nothing about it, apparently, when he was the FBI director. Apparently, they didn't know anything. So now Manafort is the campaign chairman for Donald Trump, and they throw 17 left-wing Democrat prosecutors at the guy who work for the special counsel. That is a matter for the U.S. Attorney's Office in the Eastern District of Virginia. That's number one. Now, uh, Mueller's pushing the other cases to the Southern District of New York. Then they set up Lieutenant General Mike Flynn. Then they have a few... Uh, uh, lesser lights here where they get for false statements or something like that. What the hell do we have this special counsel for? You don't want to know why? Because he wants Trump, and he wants to interview Trump, and he wants to get him on obstruction of justice. And now he's threatening, I hear, Perjury trap. that uh, you got, what he's going to do, you see, is issue a subpoena to pull the president in front of a grand jury. Let me tell you something, Mr. Mueller. You're not the king of the universe. And I hope the president's lawyers are listening to me and the president right now. Here's what you should tell Mr. Mueller. Have a meeting with him and tell him you're unconstitutional under the Appointments Clause. What you're doing is unconstitutional as far as we are concerned. We are not going to bow to you. This is the office of the President of the United States. You are a rogue prosecutor. Now get the hell out of my office and make sure the door doesn't hit you in the ass. I'll see you in court. That's the beginning and the end of it as far as I'm concerned. Let me ask you, I'm watching this thing on Manafort. I don't know what Paul Manafort did in 2005. I don't think Donald Trump who Paul, knew who Paul Manafort was in 2005. We know Judge Ellis was well, right. Well, apparently Mueller didn't. He was the FBI director at uh, the time. I, I don't think the president knew him. I don't think anybody knew. But they pulled this out of mothballs just to put the screws to him so they could get him to sing or compose, as Judge Ellis said, so that they could prosecute or impeach Trump. In this whole tax case from 05, there'll be no talk of Russia. There's going to be no talk about the campaign. There'll be no talk about his work for Donald Trump. There'll be no talk of collusion. This is just a, this is just a cheap attempt to literally go after a guy they never would have gone after because they're trying at all costs to get the president. And so the question is, Rod Rosenstein, who gives a rubber stamp to all this and created this in the first place, by appointing his dear friend, the man he first worked for at the Justice Department, Mr. Mueller, who was uh, best friends with Mr. Comey. What a colossal disaster. Uh, you have Jeff Sessions, a man I've known for 30 years, who's sitting this out. He shouldn't be sitting it out. These are constitutional issues. And quite frankly, Mr. Mueller can't keep hiding behind his 17 left-wing Democrat donor prosecutors. Where the hell is Congress? I want to know. What Mr. Mueller thinks he can do under our Constitution, I want to know what Mr. Mueller well, thinks he I can do to... under the two Department of Justice memos as well. Mark, you know when I say tick-tock, something big is coming that will blow this all out of the water. Thank you for being with us. The great one, Mark Lewis.